hi guys and welcome back to switch up now i know i know you have a ridiculous amount of games to play don't we all but guess what there's more <laughs> there's so many more and there's currently a great eShop sale going on so either run away now or let's find out what you should buy or avoid Now I'm going to try and make these games that we haven't mentioned before. The same way that Bayonetta was my first experience of it on the Nintendo Switch and I was blown away, Devil May Cry is a series that I just never got around to playing. It's currently 25% off on the eShop, which is pretty damn good, putting it around about £10. Now if you haven't played it, then it's a very well known hack and slash action game. And it was the first appearance of Dante, the Devil Hunter. Supposedly he has the blood of a legendary demon warrior flowing through his veins and in this installment he takes on a mission from the mysterious Trish to travel to Mallet Island and defeat Mundus. Mundus? I don't know if I'm saying that right. The king of the underworld. You use your sword and your dual pistols to pull off flashy combos and it was the game that supposedly introduced the stylish action genre to the world. All I can tell you is that I wish I'd played it sooner. It's incredibly fun and Yes, I haven't played the more recent games. I would say if you're new to the series, this is a definite buy right now, despite how irritating Capcom's pricing has been on some of its other titles. I'm happy to pay a tenner. The next game that I'm going to recommend is one called Morphe's Law. Now, this has recently, as in like the last week, been massively updated. When it came out, it was a touch lacklustre as well as being late, but this shooter sees you stealing the mass from your enemy. So you have two teams. It is an online game, and I can tell you that currently the online community is actually quite good, and shooting your enemy's body parts will then increase that body part on your character. So for example, if you shoot their legs loads, then you'll be able to jump really high. If you shoot loads of arms, your arms will grow massive, and you'll be able to shoot more accurately. I think you can see where this is going. So you can definitely tell who the noobs on your team are, because they are tiny little babies baby creatures waddling around the level. Overall, it's a very fun game, very slick with some nice controls, and it's currently less than $10, pounds or euros on every system at around about seven. That's a very good price for what is now a very good game. This is definitely a buy on a sale, which it is right now. The next game is one that I haven't mentioned on the channel, I think Glenn might have done, and it is This War of Mine, and it's the full and complete edition. It has the anniversary edition update, which is a set of new characters to interact with, locations to explore, and new possible endings. It also has the Little Ones DLC, exploring the hardships of wartime survival as seen from an entirely new perspective, that of a child, which is really an interesting addition. And when I completed the game back on iOS, it didn't have any of this. But one of the most enticing aspects of purchasing this pack right now on sale is the fact that it's going to include all of the upcoming free DLC and I was just reading I think yesterday about a huge expansion that's coming to the game so currently at 50% off I think that's about £17.99 this is a definite buy the game sees you trying to survive in a war-torn world and it has such a lovely atmosphere there are other games similar to this such as Sheltered which I really enjoyed and if you can find that on sale, pick that up as well. If you've not managed to play this series yet, a beautiful game, great music, lovely sound, and it can just be brutal at times when you lose a valuable family member. It's definitely not one for kids. The first game that I think you should avoid at all costs, even on sale, is one called Pirates All Aboard. Now, it's from one of our favourite developers, Cubic Games, but unfortunately this game has nothing to offer. When I first saw it, I was hoping for potentially maybe, you know, Sid Meier's Pirates or something like that. The combat is just not great. There's also a mode where you have to go from one end of the screen to another, avoiding obstacles that come up, but it just feels like a poor mobile game, not even a good one. I would say that Pirates All Aboard, no thanks, I think we'll stay on land. <laughs> The 
the next game is the ridiculously cute Cat Quest, which actually has a sequel that we've played back at EGX and that looks fantastic, which adds co-op. But Cat Quest, the original, is a very delightful, top-down, almost zoomed out on the map, but zoomed in on the character, action RPG style game. It's an open world RPG and it's set in a world filled with cats. What more could you possibly want? Combat in Cat's Quest takes place entirely in real time, allowing you to get close to enemies with slash of your blades. You can dodge roll to avoid a counterattack and then finish them off with powerful magic. You can deck your cat out in a variety of different gear that you can find throughout the world and the world is littered with interesting places and people. A lovely game and for this ridiculously cheap price you would be mad not to. The next game that I would say is an avoid and it's one that has literally just come out is called Solo Islands of the Heart. And when I saw this, and I think many of us saw this, we thought, oh, that looks nice. Potentially that's some kind of Zelda style island to island hopping adventure game. But yeah, it's really quite contrived. It's a game all about love and it's supposed to be that you explore your own experiences with love, but it just didn't work for me. The puzzling was very simplistic and the writing overall for me was just not great. My takeaway from the game was that it's just quite a boring non-Zelda experience and there's not really much more I can say than that. Not a game I enjoyed at all I'm afraid. I'd say avoid. Tell me, in which way does love wrap your existence? The next game I would say to buy is The Bug Butcher from Two Awesome Studio. It's a fast paced game that is inspired by the Pang series. Now if you're not sure what that is, it's a high score chasing game where you're shooting balloons, but here you're firing up against different bugs. You shoot vertically, but with a few different twists thrown in. You can play solo or in local co-op. There are 30 levels and five boss fights thrown in as well. One of the greatest aspects of it, and something I really liked when I bought it, are that it has the online leaderboards. So you actually feel like you're achieving something even when you're playing the game on your own. Weirdly, when I first saw the trailer, it had a kind of Hollow Knight feel to it, but it is nothing like Hollow Knight at all, don't get me wrong. It's just the lovingly crafted and detailed character models. I like it a lot. I like the style of it, and it's a brilliant game for those high score chasing fans of games like Pang. It's currently £5.59 or about $7.99, which is a bargain. Another game to avoid for you is called One Eyed Kuth uh, uh, I can't pronounce that. I'm never going to be able to. But the game is 60% off, so a lot of you might be enticed. Now, you play as a single traveler on his way home. He crashes on a mysterious planet, and to continue his journey, he'll have to get to the ninth heaven. Now, I watched Glenn play through some of this, and it was just slow and boring. Don't get me wrong, I quite like the visuals of this. It looks interesting, but the gameplay was so lackluster. There are two playable characters, and it tells a story throughout the experience. It just lacked in almost every department that we would score on other than potentially visuals. I would say even at £1.79 there are better games for that price. Take Plague Road for example, what that's 95p something crazy? Yeah, go for that one. The 
next game I might get a bit of stick for. It's Hellwarders from P-Cube. And uh, don't take the screenshots too much to heart. The game doesn't look fantastic and it doesn't run particularly well. But guess what? It's really, really fun. It also has four player online co-op. It's essentially a tower defense come hack and slash hybrid where you can buy and place your units before the waves come and attack. It is a very fun game and you know they may have actually patched this up since launch. I'll make sure that I give it a little go again and let you know in the comments but the overall experience is still fun regardless of slightly janky performance at times. And at the current price of £6.59, I'd say it would be a bit of a pickup for me, to be honest. This is definitely one to consider in the sale if you're willing to have not the best visuals, but very good gameplay. The last game's gonna scratch the itch for a little bit of adventuring, and it is the wonderfully strange Bold Boy. It's currently 75% off on the eShop. Now this multi-award winning 2D horror puzzle adventure about a boy with a glowing head is a game I played a long time ago and almost forgot about it until I saw it pop back onto the eShop. It has the usual solving problems, switching between different environments, defeating monsters, and you do this through exploring his house and bringing the light back to the world. You can also unscrew your head for use in strange places, as you are a light bulb after all, and you get to play as some of the other family members throughout your quest. There's no dialogue here, it's all done through some strange bubble speech, but it works really nicely. Plus, there are a few secrets to be found. Overall, at 75% off, I mean, that's what, £1.79, something like that? You could go far wrong, and if you like adventure games, this might be one to consider. that brings us to the end of the list. Please let us know down in the comments if we've missed out on some absolute belters. Belters means good things, by the way. You Americans kept asking last time. That's belters. Good things. So let us know down in the comments. Thanks so much to all the patrons who support us every single month. Remember, you can join them at any time. The links are all down below. And as always, for all things Switch, all the time, keep it Switch up. Cheers, guys. See ya!